Good morning, greetings friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other health care practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and often deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure, because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, and while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, the longevity products, skin care, formulations, if you heard something on the radio or on the news or read something and you want clarification, we welcome your phone calls on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010. If you have a success story you'd like to share or if you want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side today and every day. If you're interested in purchasing any of the longevity products that you hear us talk about or advertise, you can order directly off my website, brightsideben.com, also criticalhealthnews.com and pharmacistben.com. Those are my blogs, which we update regularly with news stories as well as blog posts. You can also call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. And if you're interested in purchasing any of our truth treatment products, including our retinol 5% gel, anti-wrinkle, anti-dark spots, overall skin conditioning, vitamin A, made with 5% retinol, non-irritating, no preservatives, no surfactants, and a big old honking dose of fat-soluble premium lipophilic vitamin C, 25%. You can find out all about it at truthtreatments.com. you also see our other truth treatment products at truthtreatments.com. Okay, thanks for joining us once again on The Bright Side. We're talking skin, we're talking pigmentation, but really we're talking skin and pigmentation in the perspective or in terms of the entire body. Hyperpigmentation is not a skin issue necessarily. It's not only a skin issue. Yeah, it appears on the skin, obviously, but it's related to the internal milieu. This is one of the key, maybe the key point to understanding how to have beautiful, youthful skin. Beautiful, youthful, soft skin, pretty skin, non-dark skin that's even in tone, that doesn't have dark spots on it, is about the internal milieu. It's not about the topical for the most part. There's a couple things you can do topically. We've talked about vitamin C. We've talked about retinol and vitamin A. With the exception of these two nutrients, vitamin C and vitamin A, and also alpha hydroxy acids, and we're going to talk a lot about the alpha hydroxy acids, lactic acid and glycolic acid, et cetera. We'll talk about skin peels because there's lots you could do using chemical exfoliation and skin peels, and we're going to spend a lot of time talking about that. But aside from these three exceptions, AHAs, alpha hydroxy acids, vitamin C, and vitamin A. If you got a skin condition, you got to work on the inside of the body. As far as hyperpigmentation goes, think adrenal. Think adrenal glands. Now, when you, when you think about it, the epidemic of, of hyperpigmentation that we've, ha we've got going on, it makes perfect sense when you understand that the adrenal glands are our stress glands, our stress management glands, and all of us are running hyperadrenal if we're living in 21st century America. It's almost like we've created a culture that's designed to make us hyperadrenal. We've created a culture that's designed to freak us out. We've created a culture that's designed to have us in fight or flight mode. Just watch TV. Just watch CNN and Fox News. Everywhere you look, there's another reason to be scared. There's another reason to be afraid. There's another reason to think the sky is falling. Is it any wonder that our adrenal glands are freaked out and that we're dealing with adrenal fatigue or hyperadrenal activity, why we have insomnia, why we have anxiety issues, why our digestive system is shutting down, why we're hypothyroid, why we've got autoimmune diseases? These are all related to excess burden. You know what? If you want to pick one thing to think about 
or one thing to focus on when it comes to health and wellness and longevity. It's this issue of burden on the body behind every single health challenge. You will find a burden on the body that precedes it. It's in the word disease itself, dis-ease, out of ease, in stress, in survival mode. This is so important because what it says is all we got to do is figure out how to relax and reduce the burden on the body and the body will take care of health itself. There's no doctors required here. In terms of the adrenal glands, one of the major manifestations of excess adrenal activity of a stressed out system is infertility. According to the CDC, it affects 12% of women between the ages of 15 and 44. And infertility is not just a woman problem either. It affects men too. 7.5% of uh, all sexually experienced men younger than the age of 45 reported seeing a fertility doctor at least once during their lifetime. That's almost 5 million men. And 18% of those men were diagnosed with a male-related infertility problem. It makes perfect sense when you understand that the adrenal glands, your sex glands, your infertility glands, or your fertility glands, are also your stress management glands. If you go to the OBGYN for complaining of infertility or your endocrinologist, you're going to get hormone treatments. You're going to get fertility drugs. This is craziness, you guys. When was the last time somebody went to the doctor and, and complaining of infertility and they got oxygen treatments? If you're trying to conceive a baby before, you're con before you try to conceive, before you, have, before you try to have the egg meet the sperm, relax. Take a hot tub. Take a hot bath. Have a massage. Deep breathe. Before you try to conceive a baby, if you're trying to, con if you're trying to make a baby, before you're trying to conceive, relax the body. This is so important. It's not, it's not simplistic, you guys. This is not silliness. Relaxing the body is the best medicine there is, and you don't need a doctor for it. In fact, when we talk about nutrition, and we talk about stabilizing blood sugar, and we talk about supplements, and we talk about working on the digestive system, what we're really talking about is relaxing the body. Relax. How cool is it that we operate best, we think best, we fight diseases best, we conceive babies best, we digest our food best when we're relaxed? This is one of the greatest gifts of the divine force to humanity, is that the divine force, God, whatever you want to call it, wants us relaxed. God wants you in a hot tub. How cool is that? The divine force has set up a system where we operate best when we're in parasympathetic mode. That is in relaxed mode. It's true about every health marker there is, including fertility. You don't need hormone treatments. You don't need high-tech fertilization and insemination techniques. This is what you're going to get when you go to the doctor for infertility. Nobody's going to tell you about oxygenation. Nobody's going to tell you about muscle relaxation. Nobody's going to tell you like nutri about nutrients like uh, vitamin C and zinc and stabilizing your blood sugar and using probiotics, etc. All of this demonstrates the power we have. This is an empowering message, you guys. The bright side message, the bright side philosophy is a powerful message of making us better ourselves. It's empowerment. It's about making us powerful. Doctors are not here to make you powerful. They're there to make them powerful. The medical model is about entrenching itself in our lives. This is a message that you hear every day on the bright side that is about making us powerful as humanity. Medicine is anti-humanity with the exception of uh, emergency surgery, which we talk about all the time. Heroic medicine, praise God, we have heroic medicine. When I rip on the medical model, I'm not ripping on the heroic, uh, heroic model of surgery for, after trauma. That's great, that's wonderful. It's awesome to be able to have something stitched back on when it gets cut up, cut off, or to have something repaired after it's been broken. But for day-to-day -day health, for the kind of health that involves energy, that involves resistance to disease, that involves bodybuilding, that involves brain health, that involves fertility, this is in the purview of our lives. No middleman required. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You are listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. Our number, 844-236-6010. Got a couple lines open for you. We're going to take a break and come back with more good health information. Don't go away. 
back. On the bright side, I'm Pharmacist Ben. Got a couple lines open at 844-236-6010. We'll get your calls here in, uh, I'll get your calls here in this segment so we can squeeze all our calls in if you've got questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs or the longevity products or skincare or you just want to comment or have a success story you want to share, 844-236-6010 is our number. Hang tight. We'll get your calls here momentarily. I'm, I'll, get, I'll take your calls in this segment. Uh, let's see, from the European League Against Rheumatism, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs inhibit ovulation after just 10 days. Take your Motrin, take your Na- Naperson, and you're not going to get pregnant. Why? Because these drugs represent a burden on the body. This is no surprise to anybody who's been listening to this program or anybody who understands the relationship between stress and burden and getting pregnant, stress and burden and healing, stress and burden and digestion, stress and burden and the parasympathetic relaxation nervous system. Drugs activate the stress response, no matter what those drugs are, unless you're, unless you're poisoning the stress response. And then when you get off the drugs, then you'll have the stress response. There's no good time to use a prescription drug that's not an emergency. Now, if you have an emergency, that's different. But if you're not in an emergency condition, long-term chronic ingestion of prescription drugs just represents another burden on the body, typically on an already burdened body. This is all about power, folks. This is all about the power we have over our health conditions. This infertility epidemic is kind of weird when you think about it. All higher animals are procreating machines. That's our primal directive, is to make babies. All higher animals are exquisitely prepared to make babies, to procreate. It's our primal directive. It's how our species survived for millions of years through famines, through epidemics, through ice ages. And while infertility has been blamed on things like unhealthy diets and obesity and xenoestrogens and pesticides and broken down sperm cells and egg cells, those all probably play a role. The most fundamental basic reason for a lack of conception is stress, particularly as a result of adrenal hormones, cortisol and estrogen specifically. Cortisol and estrogen pumped into the blood as a way for the, to help the body manage stress. If a woman can't make a baby and she goes to an EG, OBGYN, she's going to get a hormone fertility drug, she's going to get artificially inseminated, she's going to get in vitro fertilization, and no one's going to think of a simple strategy of getting a back rub before she tries to make a baby. Does that sound silly? It's not. A back rub is not silly. A back rub is good medicine. If you have a blood pressure cuff, all right, get a blood pressure cuff. Get the Omron 10. I talked about that yesterday. It costs you 70 bucks on Amazon.com. All you do is put it on your arm, press a button, and it'll read your blood pressure. And everybody should have one who's concerned about their health. Just to see. Just to see the, the way lifestyle and behavior and thoughts and foods can affect your blood pressure. Anyway, get yourself an Omron cup an Omron cuff, take your blood pressure, have somebody rub your back for 15 minutes, take your blood pressure again, and watch what will happen. And when your blood pressure returns down to stable, returns to a a, a lower lower, um, systolic and diastolic position, you're going to be ready to make a baby. That's a great way, by the way, if you're trying to conceive and you can't, just get a blood pressure cuff and do everything you could do to lower your blood pressure to where it needs to be, and then try to conceive a baby. If you're dealing with an infertility issue, all you need to do is address the major points of bodily breakdown that are behind all health issues. Inability to conceive is related to the same things that cause all health issues and they require the same healing strategies. No doctor is required. Nutrition, digestion, blood sugar, relax the body, emotional, mental, psychological, even spiritual strategies, none of which is medical. That's not just to make a baby. That's to heal your bones. That's to get bigger muscles. That's to reduce the likelihood of heart disease and improve eye health. It's to improve everything. Medical, the word medical, comes from the root word med, as in middle. A medical man is a middle man, cynically insinuating themselves between the patient and the ability to self-heal the same way priests of old used to cynically insinuate themselves between human beings and God. Oh, don't worry about your life. Don't worry about what you're doing. We'll take care of everything. You just give us your house. You just give us 10% of your salary. And then we'll talk to God for you. So today, we don't, we're not that dumb. That was the Middle Ages. That was the Dark Ages. They were dumb back then. Today, we're smart. We just use doctors instead. Doctor, don't worry about the sugar. Don't worry about your lifestyle. Don't worry about your cigarettes. Don't worry about the food you're eating because we are middlemen. We'll take care of it, and we'll talk to the healing God. We'll talk to your healing angels for you. You continue eating how you want. 
Here's a prescription drug, and here's a bill. That's our medical.